Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So this is the third part of API testing series and today we are going to talk about different API terminologies. So we are going to talk about what you mean by HTTP, HTTPS, resource and payload. We'll discuss about what are the different HTTP methods we have. And at last we'll talk about what you mean by URI, URL and uh, URN and endpoint. So these are very important terms when we uh, talk about API and when we learn API testing. So let's get it started. So what is HTTP, HTTPS and resource? So in the last couple of videos, we talked about what is an API, what is API testing, and we have seen client server uh, architecture, application architecture, three tier client server application architecture, where we have seen how we are sending the request and how we are getting the response. So in the similar way, when we talk about HTTP and HTTPS, so these are the protocols hypertext transfer protocol and hypertext transfer protocol secure so these are used for the communication between client and server over the network so let me give you an example so this an url and when we fire this url on any browser so it sends the request to the server and we'll get the response when we fire this fire this url over the web nothing but using http which is protocol on the web that is nothing but www on internet using browser so we are requesting the server to get the information about this website so we'll land on this page www.automationtestinginsider.com so this is the use of http so we are sending the request using the protocol protocol is nothing but the set of rules set of rules it's a protocol used for the communication between client and server over the network so this is about http and https if you talk about the difference between them so here we are using extra s so what is the use of this uh, https so it is more secure than http because of uh, it uses another protocol is called or certificate ssl you might have heard ssl secure socket layer so that is why it is more secure than uh, http and it uses the messages in the form of uh, like encrypted format it is use, using because it is more secure so that's why it is using the message format in encrypted format and it is uh, less faster because of it has more more features than http it is faster than http protocol now if you talk about resource, so what do you mean by resource? So in API terms, whatever is data available on the server, we used to call resource. Uh, how we are going to, how to get the resource from the server, how we are updating the resource. So we use this term frequently in API testing or when we work with APIs. Resource. So whatever data present on the uh, server in the form of image, file, or any data or JSON format or any other format, we use call it as resource uh, now if i talk about different http methods so here we have some http methods so these are very important http methods so we have get we have get http methods so what do you mean by get http method so we are sending the request to the server some information from the server for that purpose we use get method how we are sending the request so let's say we have an application and uh, for the user registration so user is already registered let's say user a b c suppose we want to want the information for about user a so how, how we are sending this get request using get http method using url the base url and we can call it as url or uri we'll discuss about them in the coming slides so we'll put some information about the uh, about this particular user a like user id and a password and we'll get the response back from this server so this is get http method if you talk about post one so suppose we want to put the address we want to update uh, sorry we want to add the address into the server on server so how we are going to use we are going to use post method when we first time add the record on this server that is nothing but the post so for this user address will be added on the server when you use this post http method 
if you talk about put one suppose we want to update the address from this uh, on the server which is already present existing record we want to update it so we use this put http method if you talk about delete suppose we want to delete something from the server so we can use this delete http method so these are the important uh, http methods which we used frequently when we work with apis if you talk about responses so this uh, we have seen in the last video as well uh, 200 series is nothing but for the ok and 300 is for redirection 400 for client side error and this is for server side error and i'll create a separate video to discuss about different status codes so these are status codes which we get in the form of response right like 200 uh, whether it is okay or not like 200 is for okay and some error for not four client side error and why not three server side error like that so i'll create there are different status codes are available so we'll talk about them in a separate video each one of them moving on to the next one what is uri url urn and endpoint so these terms especially uri and url are used interchangeably in uh, api terms uri is nothing but uniform resource identifier and we can say it uses uh, it uses either location or address or name so we can say url it uses url or uri urn or we can say the combination of both is called uri uniform resource identifier what is url uniform resource locator locator is nothing but the address it locates the address and get uh, and uh, assist us how we are getting that particular resource from the server urn is nothing but uniform resource name so it directly identify what is the resource name so these two terms like especially uri and url used uh, interchangeably in uh, uh, api terms so here we have an example so https is nothing but the scheme or scheme or we can say protocol this is host or domain google.com and this is the path where our resource is present articles slash article name now what is uri url urn and uh, endpoint here and if you talk about endpoint so endpoint is nothing but the point from which api uses its resources from this server that is nothing but the endpoint so generally a uh, developer creates this api uh, endpoints and give it to us and we use host and scheme to fire that url to request that url from this server use that url to request some data from this server or when we send when we use different http methods we use different http methods to send that those requests now in this example if you talk about uh, what is uri so we can say from here except protocol this is nothing but the uri if you talk about endpoint so from here to here this is endpoint this path is endpoint and this is nothing but urn urn and this complete is url okay let me give another example so that you can understand better so let's say there is a e-commerce website and uh, we have url let's say we have base url https API dot example dot com and we have particular product inside uh, this path v1 slash products and let's say one two three four so this is our complete URL here we have https colon so this is the protocol and this is the domain name or host host and v1 slash v1 products one two three so this is nothing but the endpoint which is provided by the where it is particular uh, where it is located exactly from where we are using the resource 
or getting the information from the server so this is nothing but the endpoint endpoint and here we have path right so v1 slash product is the path and this is the urn uniform resource name and if i talk about uh, uri so this is the uri uniform resource identifier and this is the complete url when we send the request so this is an example of uh, url or uri so this is another example of url and ur url and uri so it has all the information right we have a scheme protocol user information here we are providing the user information and host www.example.com is the host nothing but the host port so on which port it is available that resource so using this port we are accessing that resource this is nothing but the path slash for uh, forum slash questions is the path and after that we are adding the query tag is equal to networking and order is equal to new newest newest right so this is these are nothing but the queries which we are sending through url to get the particular item from the server to access that particular resource and slash top is nothing but the fragment fragment is nothing but uh, basically it is specify uh, uh, a specific condition or condition in the endpoint is called the fragment so till here to here we can say this is the end point end point and uh, from here we have this as uri uniform resource identifier and this is the complete url from beginning to end and uh, we have urn what we are going to access right the top so this is another example of uh, url and uri so don't be confused generally in different terms we use uh, uh, different people uses different terms like uri and url but if you talk about the exact difference so this is how it looks like so here we have a simple uh, sample http post request simple post request so how we are sending this request let's have a look so endpoint this is our endpoint or we have we can say the base url we have and uh, here we have http method so we are sending the post http method and http headers so this is the header so header is nothing but the extra information when we provide while accessing something from the server when we send the http method request so we'll we used to provide extra information that comes under http headers like what is the content type like it should be in json format what it should accept json format right and authorization like some authentication so these are the information we keep under http headers now this is the body what kind of details we want we keep under body and this is also called payload payload so at the time of sending the request so this is request payload and when we get the response this is time of sending the request request payload and when we get the response response payload so we'll get some response in the form of body so that is nothing but the response payload so this complete information whatever we put inside body is called the payload so this is all about today guys and let me know if you have further questions about the different terminologies so i'll clarify put your question in the comment section of this video so that i can uh, answer you so in the next video we will talk about uh, we'll install uh, we'll we are going to talk about how we are going to install postman and uh, how we do the settings and all and we'll start using uh,